All in. Locked up. And they're off. And they got out as one. A good start, Big Big Plans, and Dreaming have drew away sharply in the centre. Lady Spite Spear between them, and Big Big Plans still deep on the track, holds the lead by a couple. Lady Spite Spear, Dreaming of Drew, and then a break of two to Stunning Princess, Sleek Lynx. Seasons is second last. Alda is last early. About five and a half covers this field, and from the outside, Big Big Plans got to the hedge in front by a length, Lady Spite Spear. In third, Dreaming of Drew coasting along and coming forward is Sleek Lynx on the outside. One to Stunning Princess, Alda coming up on the outside and last is now Seasons. Out in front, the long shot, Big Big Plans. Three quarters, Lady Spite Spear. One away third, Dreaming of Drew on the inside. A half to Sleek Lynx and two lengths away came Stunning Princess and Alda and a length and a half to Seasons at the back. No change, and Big Big Plans leads the Natal Mistakes field inside the half mile. About two to Lady Spite Spear, having the run of the race. Dreaming of Drew on the inside, shuffling forward. Big Big Plans continues on. Sleek Lynx is about three and a half behind the leader in fourth, and then Alda pushed along a bit now. And back second last, Stunning Princess and last seasons. They come after Big Big Plans. Lady Spite Spear the outside, Dreaming of Drew the rail as they turn. Alda is finishing well down the outside. Big Big Plans kicks on in front. On the outside, Lady Spite Spear, Dreaming of Drew, flies up the rail. Alda down the outside, Lady Spite Spear hit the front. Down the center of the track, Alda. It's Lady Spite Spear from Alda. Alda coming, but Lady Spite Spear in front. Lady Spite Spear from Alda. And Lady Spite Spear has gone on to win the Natalma by three quarters, Alda. Three lengths to Seasons got in for show from Dreaming of Drew, who had every chance. Then Sleek Link, Stunning Princess, and Big Big Plans. The time is 134.61. Now, Roger, we know the end result. Uh, a little apprehensive there at the start, you know, look like she had some issues, rearing up a little bit, uh, but it worked out in the end. Yeah, I see that she um, she must have popped up there and Emma got off her or went, jumped out the back of the gate from what I could see, but then she settled down and, and she broke okay, didn't she, you know, but uh, I was a bit worried about that, yeah. You mentioned that she didn't have to have the lead, you said she could rate, that's exactly what she did. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and uh, that's always a nice to see, right? <laughs> and, um, you know, when you break your maiden and you go into a race like this off of going wire to wire, you really haven't had any education or anything going into something like this, so it was nice to see that for sure. Last question. You know what I'm going to ask you. Are we going to the Breeders' Cup? Well, that would be up to Mr. Fipke, and uh, I would say, knowing Mr. Fipke, I would say we probably are. All right. <laughs> Best of luck. Appreciate the time. Congratulations. Well, thank you so much. So in the starting gate, she uh, she acted up a little bit, but it, a little bit that was testament to her intent. Last time she ran, she was such a racehorse. She broke through the pack early with and went to the lead with such intent. I think it was the same thing today in the gate. She knew what was coming. They yelled last one. She was anticipating the doors to open. So she popped up a little, but a kudos to the gate crew here at Woodbine. They, they kept her straight and steady. So despite her rearing, she still she didn't manage to get herself hung up or hurt in any way, which meant she was able to compete and able to win today. One last question and I'll yell. For the first time having a loud voice is probably useful under this circumstance. Uh, just tell us about how the horse relaxed because you were on the front end that first career start and how, about how things finished up for you. It's interesting Jeff. She relaxed better than I expected um, but I wasn't overly surprised. Um, like I said in her first start she ran to the lead with you know with gumption and I, it took me by surprise. Um, so today uh, there was a little more pace in the race and, and you know, I didn't want to get hung up, caught in between. When we've been training her since then, she's known more. She's settled more in her breezes um, with her intensity. So I was hopeful that that was translate into the race today, and, and it did. I mean, the doors opened, and I just kind of put my hands down. The outside horse out, outstepped her the first little bit, and she showed that composure of a racehorse. She knew that she was going to get a chance to run, and I let that, I had a chance to let that horse cross over and just put her right on, on his flank, and she settled into stride, got into rhythm, and man, when, when they started to come to her, just like last time, she really leveled off and dug in. Congratulations. Thank you very much, guys.